Nation state power is declining. Trust in national institutions is faltering across the globe. Meanwhile, we have the growing specter of collectivism, racism, protectionism, of the separation of states, nation states, uh, away from organizations like the EU uh, into smaller and smaller units. Uh, some have called it the return of the city-state. But there is an opening here for the market anarchist vision, which, if you're not aware, the market anarchist vision is essentially a vision of universal liberty, where everyone can do as they please as long as they don't involve, uh, in, interfere with other people's right to do the same. It's a vision where there are no nation states, which are essentially just gangs of elites who will force other people to do what they think is right. It's a world where we have what you might call a swarm of jurisdictions, of ranging in size that could be allied, collaborating, uh, overlapping, uh, where different sets of rules uh, can coexist, where law is essentially just contracts made between people and where these contracts can affect or, or are not binding on anyone who is not a party to the contract, where uh, security is provided by the marketplace, where there is no one who has a monopoly on providing security, like the police and military of today, where no one has a monopoly on dispute resolution, where dispute resolution is also provided by the marketplace. Uh, via arbitration or other creative arrangements. That is a, ma a market anarchist vision, a world without borders, except property borders, the borders of my, my home, of my community, if the community has its own rules for things. The uh, borders, if you can call it that, of a road and the rules of who may transit the road. Um, it's a dynamic world without all the artificial and, and fear-based limits that have been placed on it by nation states. You know, what if we market anarchists could um, offer an alternative to today's world? What if we could come up and say we have a better solution than the nation state? And what if we could do it in an organized and coherent and action-oriented fashion that is more than just uh, idle philosophizing and having beer drinking parties, okay? Um, that's what I'm proposing today, that we form an organization whose purpose is to plan, execute, and support a global market anarchist revolution. Now, this is no simple matter, of course, uh, but I think that it can take a form such that it can coexist uh, under the nose of the nation state in the form of projects that educate, that foster entrepreneurialism, that assist people in the developing world that are essentially uh, self-improvement groups for ourselves, where we support each other to uh, achieve prosperity and greater liberty in our own lives. You know, there are a wealth of organizations, uh, political organizations in the world. There are political parties uh, for the environmentalists, there are political parties for the Nazis, and everything in between. There are advocacy organizations uh, for the rainforest, for the whales, for the poor, uh, for watersheds, for everything you can imagine, but is there an organization that is that has as its goal to create a global market anarchist order? No. Well, I think it's high time that we founded one. Let's call it Agora. Now, what would be the goals of such an organization? Well, first of all, to support each other, the members of the organization, in our own individual searches for liberty, prosperity, and self-realization, and to come to each other's aid in times of crisis. 
in a manner of our own choosing. To spread liberty across the globe and end the reign of the nation state by planning, executing, and supporting a global market anarchist evolution, revolution, whatever you want to call it. I think evolution is a better term. Um, we can incubate as part of that the institutions required to provide uh, security, dispute resolution, and law uh, through the marketplace without the nation state, which is a great conceptual hurdle a lot of people have a problem with. They can't envision how that's going to work. Well, this is a simple business problem. This is a problem of, of that entrepreneurs, as entrepreneurs, we can put our minds to, we can put our money to, we can make it happen. Um, to support and incentivize radical accountability, responsibility, and integrity in all people because a point that is often lost in the libertarian community is the fact that liberty is powered by accountability. Liberty without accountability does not work. It, it is chaos, as people say. You say anarchy or anarchism to someone, they say, ah, oh, chaos. Well, yes, if there is no mechanism for accountability response, and responsibility, then yeah, it is essentially chaos. And to cooperate with other private societies who have similar goals in order to achieve this vision. Because the idea is not to have a single organization that is pursuing this vision or this goal, but a uh, multipolar, polycentric, um, mesh or network of organizations overlapping, cooperating, sometimes conflicting, competing to achieve these goals because that is the world we live in, a world of individuals who overlap, who collaborate, who compete, who cooperate. It's a dynamic world and this is the world that the nation state effectively strangles and manipulates at great, at great human cost and the one that we want to see happen. And therefore, this can be an ecosystem of organizations. Now, so what, what, is, what does such a, an organization look like? Well, first of all, maybe it's managed by DAP, a smart contract, perhaps on the Ethereum blockchain, perhaps uh, via a project like Aragon or District Zero X. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, there's an application process, new members are, are admitted via it. Um, there is a price for membership, there are benefits for membership. Uh, members have uh, exclusive communication channels because this can become a club for forming new entrepreneurial projects, for enriching ourselves, for having like-minded like people with which to communicate, to, to build. Um, there must, members must put up a bond to ensure their good behavior. This is kind of like the bootstrapping of the kind of insurance based market anarchist system that some uh, people have talked about. For example, I believe it's mentioned in the Market for Liberty and I believe uh, Robert Murphy of uh, Mises has a book about this. Don't remember the name right now. Um, members who engage in coercion or fraud, they have they ha it has, there has to be a mechanism for getting rid of them. Uh, members vote on the rules of the organization, the laws for the organization, for the society. And this is how we bootstrap uh, lawmaking. Members are obligated to come to the support of each other in case of crisis or need in a way that is at the discretion of each member. This is how we initially bootstrap security in our stateless society, our kernel of a stateless society. Uh, there's a mechanism for resolution of disputes, which could be by simple vote of the membership, or perhaps there is an arbitration committee or some mechanism for arbitration. And members vote on how to spend the organization's budget in terms of the organization's goals. Now, the agro organization is just the base layer. There are projects on top of that. Which, are, which happen at the direction of membership votes. 
I'm not a fan of democracy, but uh, within the organization, uh, there can be democracy. That is how, that is the consensus mechanism for arriving at decisions within the society. Um, for example, members could start a mutual aid organization. Uh, we could start an incubator to hold entrepreneurial competitions to, for organizations to win financing um, to create the kind of institutions that we need in order to take the next steps with a global market anarchist evolution. Uh, educational products, uh, projects. For example, let's say we target a developing world country that has a failing state. And let's say we want to make that a test case, we want to make it a market anarchist society. Well, one of the first steps is to educate the people there about how this kind of thing works. It's to find out from them how they work also and to find a middle ground and to work with them to develop the tools and methodologies necessary to turn their societies into stateless societies. Uh, crisis response. Let's say there's some crisis in the world that would be uh, useful for us either as a, as a laboratory in which to experiment, as a way to support allies, for example in Venezuela, or for public relations or some other reason. Um, really, I think if we want to see, if you want to see a world without nation states, a world of liberty, a world that is anarchic but not chaotic or not uh, orderless, let's say, because even a, even, a, even a world that is ordered still has plenty of chaos and there's nothing wrong with that. If you want to see a free world, a Mark and Anarchist world, then uh, or a world where nation states are obsolete, then really to form an organization to pursue this goal, it's a no-brainer. I invite you to join me on Discord, in the Agora Discord today, and let's start making this happen. You can find uh, more information at more liberty and the discord invite at morelibertynow.com slash agro.